Uh, the Third Reich, uh, History of Nazi Germany by Thomas Childers. This is great writing. It's fairly new. It says here 2017. Um, uh, get into Thomas Childers if you can. Uh, I, I found him through the Teaching Company lectures on World War II. He's, he's, uh, he's got a great voice either when he's writing or when he's speaking and he he just has a natural gift for narrative and rhythm what got me about this book was just the staggering numbers of casualties i knew a certain amount of numbers but this widens the perspective of why world war ii was the largest event in all of human history. Um, just, um, you can't even believe it. Uh, and the guy in Hitler was a total, total madman. Um, delusional, um, impossible to deal with, intransigent, made a lot of mistakes that, I mean, he, he may have been able to win that war in the East uh, if he hadn't made... Uh, some of the decisions he made, I don't know, but, uh, I really enjoyed this writing and I also recommend his other book, Soldier from the Soldier, what was it called? Um, Soldier from the War Home Returning, where he analyzes the lives of a few different men who fought, one at Anzio, uh, another was a POW, another one, uh, fought in the air war, uh, stationed out of, uh, England and they came home and their lives were never the same. And he just has a very compassionate and well-spoken, uh, enthusiasm for the war. And there's a lot to get out of his writing. And this in particular, uh, is just great writing. I tried to do, um, rise and fall of the third Reich by William Shirer and it was just too dry. It was too. It was too long. It was not enough narrative. It was all he said, she said, he said, he said, and I got bored with that after half of it, basically. But okay, that's it. Keep reading. Yay.